I've come to try out one project created with the goal of improving our overall health and well-being. Vasper Systems claim they can deliver the benefits of a two-hour workout in just 20 minutes, a claim NASA hopes will also benefit its astronauts. So this is the Vasper system. This is. It's a system designed to stimulate your body's production of growth hormone. In the body, the pituitary gland produces natural growth hormones during exercise or deep sleep. As we age, we produce less hormones, and it becomes difficult to maintain optimal states of mental and physical health or recover from injury. Apart from putting this in gyms, I'm presuming there's a space application, you being just a stone's throw from NASA. What is that application? We have a Space Act agreement with NASA where they're evaluating this technology to be a part of long-term human space travel. So currently, astronauts need to exercise three to four hours a day to combat the effects of zero gravity on bone density and muscle atrophy. So anything that can make that time more efficient and effective is, is obviously valuable to them, and VASPER provides a, a solution there. During spaceflight, astronauts experience microgravity, one millionth of the force we feel on Earth. Bones and muscles, which no longer need to support weight, lose mass and strength. The longer an astronaut is in space, the greater the risk of broken bones and muscle wastage. The sensation in your legs is going to be as if you've been working out for an hour, even two hours, but that, that sensation is going to go away as soon as the workout's over. Right. This is a 20-minute protocol in a 15 to 20-minute period is how you elicit the maximum response from your pituitary gland. You know, we have we have 92-year-olds who do this on a really? regular basis, so I think it's going to be okay. See, you're setting me up. What if I don't do it now? <laughs> this 92-year-old managed to do it. Mild compression and cooling is applied to the upper arms and thighs to mimic the effect of much more intense exercise. So as you're exercising, we are slowly and safely reducing the superficial blood flow to the muscle okay. to create a high concentration of lactic acid. Well, there's a significant burn that occurs when that lactic acid concentrates, and the cooling helps counterbalance that. The increased lactic acid in the muscles tricks the brain into releasing natural growth hormones, only normally released after much longer periods of intense activity. So, in summary, it's doing two things. It's holding my muscles tight, and that's increasing lactic acid. Yes. It's making them cold, and that's making me able to cope with it easy. That's precisely it. It was important that I was barefoot. Why was that? It is. Well, you're barefoot on cooled copper plates, and they're cooled to help regulate your body temperature. But the main thing there is that you're grounded. And that means that they provide the same 10 hertz discharge that occurs when you're barefoot on the Earth's surface, which enables your body to release static electricity to the ground. In that same process, you pick up negative electrons from the Earth to your body. The accumulation of static electricity in the human body can lead to muscle tension, stress, and poor overall health. In the 20-minute protocol, your brain has picked up that signal via biofeedback to restore the muscle to the pre-exercise state, and you have this huge increase in growth hormone and other anabolic hormones that would normally take hours of intensive exercise to achieve. All right, so we're going to get so you it's on. It's a miracle machine, really. It's a miracle machine. In the future, the ability to extend manned space exploration to the furthest reaches of the universe will rely not only on machines, but also on the physical endurance of the human body.